Hi everybody! We're going to start thinning out the seedlings. See these? These are the beet seedlings. And as you can see, there are many, many seedlings together in this one pot. We're going to thin them out. These are the beets. Pre-K-4 planted these. We're just going to take out a few of these beets to help the other ones grow big and strong. Now see, these are the marigolds. As you can see, there's quite a few there. Sometimes you plant more seeds than you need because you're not sure that they're all going to germinate and you end up with too many seedlings in one pot. Is we're going to look and see which seedling looks stronger and bigger. So it looks like this one's nice and strong, this one looks bigger. So I'm going to have to take out about two or three seedlings from this pot to make sure that we get beautiful flowers. Okay. So now we're going to take out a couple of these seedlings. You're going to use your scissors and cut them as close to the ground as you can. There we go. Now we have three seedlings that will grow up nice and strong. These are the onions. Now let's see. Do we have too many too close here? I think I see one. I'm going to carefully snip it away. I think these other guys are going to be okay. Now these are the parsnips. Now we have two parsnips that are too close together. So we're going to have to choose which one to leave and which one. Oh, there's actually three. So there's one little one over here. And that's the smallest one. Thinned. And then let's see which one's bigger of these two. I think this one's bigger. So we're going to do that. And that's the parsnip. This is the cilantro. Fourth grade did an excellent job planting these because there's hardly any to thin out. Just one little one on that one. And now uh, let's look at this one over here. You might see this one here. That one's growing too close. So we're going to thin that one out very carefully. And now we have two, whoops, here it is. Two cilantro plants ready to go into the vegetable bed. 